Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Appreciate you coming back. So today, there should be a pretty quick video. There's not a lot to this. It's just a little trick to uh, squeeze some more performance out of your memory. So those of you who build your own systems, basically what happens when you buy your RAM kit or your memory kit and it's set to run at a certain speed or it is a certain speed out of the box, what a lot of people don't know is nine times out of 10, when you put that system together and you don't really change any settings or you don't tweak anything in the BIOS, it will basically run at the lowest speed that that memory uh, is spec'd for. And so a lot of people don't know, you can actually go in there, make a little adjustment in your, uh, I think it's called XMP, stands for Extreme Memory Profile. You enable that, make that adjustment, and it will basically give you the speed that you, you paid for. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. Um, we gotta go into the BIOS. Now everyone's BIOS is gonna be different on their system. Um, so check your manual, look it up online for the motherboard that you have to show you exactly where to make this adjustment in there. But what we're gonna do first, I use this little application called CPU-Z. You open that up, and this is actually a very good little application in general uh, for PC users. It will give you a lot of really good important information on your system and its specs. I will go ahead and put a direct link to the download of this down in the description below. But as you can see here, uh, you click on CPU, it will tell you what type of CPU you have, uh, the core speeds, the multipliers, the bus speeds, everything that's important that you, you really want to know about your system. Go over here to uh, main board tells you exactly what motherboard you have and this part will come in handy if you want to google how to do this trick that i'm going to show you um, and it's also handy for it shows you which bios version so when you get into the the bios if you need to do an update then you can go ahead and do that as well uh, i'm not going to show you all that today maybe i'll do that in another video uh, but this is what we're looking for here this memory tab and um, I've set mine back so I can kind of show you guys the difference. And what you're looking for is the DRAM frequency. So right now with standard, with XMP not enabled, um, it's at 1071. 1071 megahertz. So when we go, we're going to enable the XMP profile. We're going to reboot. We're going to run CPU-Z again. And I will show you guys the difference. So we can go ahead and close that. And what you'll need to do now is restart your computer, go into your BIOS, again, look up what BIOS you have, BIOS you have, so you know where to go. Okay, guys, so we have rebooted, and we are now in the BIOS. Again, I can't stress this enough, your BIOS may look a lot different. It's going to depend on the manufacturer of your motherboard. And since I've already done this, basically what I'm going to suggest to you, if you haven't looked it up or, you know, you're a little advanced, just go ahead and look through the different menus and stuff. Sometimes, you know, you'll have a thing called memory and it could be under there. I already know from doing this before, mine's over here in easy mode for some strange reason. I'm sure it's over here as well, but if you go into easy mode, mine's actually right here. And like I said, I've disabled this uh, prior just so I could show you guys this. But for me, all you have to do is enable this. And it will come up and tell you all this cool little sorts of stuff. You just go ahead and hit yes. Um, and then all you have to do is reboot. Now, I will tell you guys that if you have a, an AMD CPU processor instead of an Intel, I actually have an Intel, so if you have an AMD instead, yours might not say uh, XMP. Yours could actually say AMP for AMD memory profiles. Um, it's just, uh, I think it's an Intel standard that calls it XMP for extreme memory profiles. But that's the only difference, and again, it could actually say XMP even if you do have an AMD processor. So with that said, we're just going to go ahead and save and exit. and. You do want to save configuration and go ahead okay, and restart. Guys, so we've made the change in the BIOS. We've rebooted the system. We're back into Windows. So what we need to do now is we just need to open this CPU-Z up again and check for the change. So again, in here, you go right to your memory. 
And as you can see, we are now at our DRAM frequency is at about 1500 megahertz and it was 1071. So there's obviously an increase there. So we basically took the system from running at the standard memory frequency or speed in layman's terms to um, changing it to what those sticks of memory are programmed and basically made to run at. Um, so you might see a little, if you're a gamer, you'll, you could see a little bit of a difference in your games and stuff like that. But also at the same time, guys, keep in mind that there are some applications, and not a lot, you shouldn't see a lot of this, that are very memory sensitive. So if making this change, you go into an application or a game that generally runs great and it starts acting a little bit squirrely or weird or something like that, you might have to go back and change change it back. But I really doubt you're going to see anything like that. Uh, those days are kind of kind of gone, but there are still some apps that are memory specific. So anyway, guys, like I said, short video just to show you that real quick. Hopefully that helps you get a little bit more performance out of your memory. Um, also, take a look at my last video. It shows you how to keep things cleaned out using CCleaner and malware. Uh, that's, a, that's a good thing to do from time to time. So that's it, guys. That's all I've got for today. And uh, thank you for watching. Any questions or comments, please leave them. And uh, I'll respond as I can. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.